This is the new Iron Man 4x4 Nomad 1300 rooftop tent. It pops up and opens to the side. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Before we even get our tent set up, we wanna survey the land. Don't just roll into camp and start setting up gear. You wanna find the most level plot you can find because your car is your foundation for your tent. If it's not level and it's tilted to one side, you're gonna constantly slide out of your sleeping bag. Just trust me, you're not gonna get a good night's sleep. So things to be thinking about. Level ground for your car. If you can't find level ground, find something to chalk under your tires to get your vehicle level. The other thing too, be thinking about when we deploy this tent, it's gonna fold out this way. So do we have enough space? And what about our ladder? When that ladder comes down, where's it gonna land? So you don't want it in mud or muck or whatever, because you're gonna. this is where you're gonna be accessing your tent in and out. So just a couple things to think about before we get all set up. First step, you got three straps to open up. They're tied down, so pop the Velcro. There's one in the front, one in the middle, and one in the back. Now that you got your straps off, just wanna pop that up. It's got gas-powered struts that are gonna push the top up and away. This is your pull-down strap for when you go to get the thing packed back up. So we'll set this off to the side. We're gonna use a little leverage to help us. Grab your telescoping ladder, slide the thing out. You'll hear it start to click into place. That means each one of the stairs are locking. And then push down here to open the second half of your floor up. And then you just slowly pull it out. What's great about these telescopic ladders are they are adjustable. Telescope in and out. If you're putting your rooftop tent on a short vehicle, like a, you know, Subaru like this one or a shorter SUV, or you've got a big tall truck, this allows for that adjustability. So it's real nice. There's another couple things you need to think about when you're setting these tents up. One is the floor. It's a two piece floor that hinges, obviously. You want that floor nice and flat, level. If you're like this, that's not gonna work. And if you hyperextend it, you put undue stress on that hinge. Also, you wanna make sure your ladder's as close to 60 degrees as you can get it. If it's too far this way, you're gonna put more undue stress on it. And if you get it too straight up and down, you could risk falling or hurting yourself. You want it 60 degrees, that's gonna be the most stable. So ours is a little too long. So they've got these thumb tabs here on each step. You push in and you can close the section up and it locks in place. Go to the next one, locks in place. So here it looks like we're gonna get it just like that. Set it down on the ground nice and firm. All right, your included window rods and hardware is inside the tent. So reach in here, it should be a black bag, just like that. Pull these out, save this for later, keep it in the tent, I'll show you how we're gonna use that. All right, when you grab your window rods, hold them like that, you're gonna have two long ones and four shorties. So grab the long ones, we'll set the short ones back in the tent. You're gonna need these guys for the outside rain fly here at the entrance. And this fabric here on the front, there's a split, there's a hole right here that you're gonna to wanna to feed this window rod in. And once it's mounted in, grab all the way out on the end, and gently bend it back and hook it through that outer grommet. Same thing on the other side, through the fabric mounting hole we'll find our outer grommet there you go that is open all right good news is this tent is really big which is nice and spacious but you've got to get in there and you don't want to drag your dirty feet in there with you so make sure to utilize the boot bags these are like nice saddle bags you can pop your dirty boots off tuck them in here get into your tent then you don't get it all dirty while you're setting it up. Another good move, bring yourself some flip-flops or some slippers. If you're camping in a dusty or muddy location, you can throw your dirty boots in here and then use your you know, slippers or your flip-flops in the tent without getting it dirty. Or if you gotta get up in the middle of the night, it's a lot easier to throw flip-flops on than having to strap up your boots. Now let's get our window awning rods put in. They go right in here. You'll feel it socket in. Grab on that end, pull it back. There's the front one. There's that one. Super easy. All right, come on in. Let me show you around. 
pretty nice. We have two windows and a door and a moonroof. And what's cool about this is if you're doing some nice summertime camping, you can actually roll all this out of the way and uh, look at the stars or the clouds, depending on what the weather's doing. But this is a nice feature. It's also nice because you can kind of regulate the temperature too. It's really, really hot. Being able to open this up is nice. So it's got the flap, it's got the screen that can all fold up and then it basically opens up and you've got your rain fly, which if it's really hot out, you can take the whole rain fly off if you're not worried about that. Um, you can even leave your rain fly on and unzip that and then unzip it again. There's basically four panels that you have to unzip and then you got Velcro. I did it! This is nice up here. A little bright. And if you're camping in the winter time and you might expect rain or snow or even, you know, fall or early spring, uh, make sure and use your roof support pole. And this goes right through the hoop and it's gonna hit on the back wall up top. And then you can kind of just flex it to the left or to the right and the center and push it up. And it's like a big spring. And so it holds the roof up and out of the way and provides a tent pitch so that snow and rain won't pool up here, but will continue to flush off of the top of your tent. Also got another little trick. Remember that um, window rod bag that we had? I use this because if you keep putting the pole up here on this carpeted um, top underneath, you'll probably wear it out. So I just take my bag, I fold it over a few times like that, make a little pack and then hold it up and down and tuck it right there. And then you're not gonna wind up, you know, scratching a hole through this nice liner. And on your hinge, you have this open area here. So make sure and tuck that flap down and tuck it underneath your mattress and it'll hold in place, but you don't wanna leave that open. All right, that setup went super fast. Now let's talk about takedown. It's basically set up in reverse with a garnish. All right, so first pull your uh, roof support rod out. Let's close up the skylight. You got four panels, undo the toggles, zip them all up. We'll get these window rods out. Close up your screen, but for your inner window, leave a little bit of it open because when we collapse the tent, we want to be able to let the air out so it'll fold up nice and tight. We'll get the last two rods. This guy here. And this one here. Throw them back in the bag. And then they don't get all over the place. We'll slide those down in there. Make sure all your gear is out of the tent that you need with you, like your phone and other important things, your keys. And if you wanna leave some light bedding, just make sure it's on the back half that doesn't fold up, the, the half that stays nice and flat. Now we're gonna collapse our ladder. So you do that by using your thumbs and pushing on these, push them in and slide up, in and up, in and up. Last one. As you fold that over, you hear all that air coming out, so it's packing down nice and tight. Bring it around here, and I pull it down, I get it here, and I make sure that you're bringing in all of this side fabric when you fold this thing down. So if you're doing it by yourself, it's not the end of the world, you can always fold it up and then get your hand up under here and push it back up, but you don't want it hanging down. Take the strap. Pull up like this, tuck it up and out of the way, up on top of the ladder. There you go, make sure those are secure. All right, this thing's all packed up and ready to go. Dude, set up and tear down on this thing took no time at all. If you are a high speed person, which I know you are, this is the tent for you. Go to ironman4x4america.com. That is where you can get a Nomad 1300 tent. Go check it out.